Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Uh, tutorial on downloading your Nexus coin wallet. Uh, my name is Joe Mena, and let's get right to it. Uh, let's see. That's right, that's cool. Um, okay, so here we are. Uh, go to business resources. All right, first, you naturally log into your back office. Go to, uh, once you log in, um, this screen pops up. Go to business resources and then click on right here, view more. Then Nexus University Business Resource Center opens up. Scroll down. <clears throat> and you'll see down here we have um, download Nexus Coin Wallet for Windows, download Nexus Coin Wallet for Mac. I'm going to do the Windows version because I have a PC and I don't know anything about Mac anyway. So if you have a Mac, get with uh, Kellyanne or, or um, somebody to show you how to download the wallet there if you run into any issues. Or on the Skype, the Nexus University Skype site, uh, Skype room, um, chat in there is always helping there. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to download on Nexus Coin Wallet for Windows. Click on that. Okay, it downloads. Um, depending on your browser, uh, this is Chrome, so you know I'm down here, in the left-hand um, corner. Uh, with the with download, sometimes if you have Firefox, something you might see it up here. Your download up to the right-hand corner, see up here, somewhere in there. If you have Firefox. Okay, so anyway, um, I already downloaded. Um, the wallet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. Um, so you're not gonna be able to see the whole process uh, of it when it's actually downloading, because I already downloaded it uh, and the recording was not working properly, so I'm redoing it. But it'll show you the basic steps on on how to get through and how to do it. Okay, so you click on you open your download, okay, and then your page opens up here. Uh, okay, let me get rid of this. Okay. All right, so right here you'll see it says Nexus Coin. If I can get in on that. There we go. Uh, Nexus Coin QT.exe. All right, so what you want to do is highlight that by checking it, highlight it, whatever. Then you want to extract this file, okay? And so we're going to go up to the top here where it says Extract All, or if you have a, a different um, zip. Uh, program, you know, it might be a little different, but you want to you want to find this Nexus Coin <clears throat> dash QT dot exe. Select it, okay, and then extract all the files. So find out on this particular zip um, unloader here. It says extract all right here. Okay, so we click on extract all and whatever destination. Um, you want to extract the files to uh, I'm going to just go with this one okay that it brings up um, it's my username blah blah blah, blah downloads nexus.coin um, the uh, the exe okay so anyway uh, you know I mean you could if you didn't want to download it there uh, you can go into browse and download it wherever you want to download so I'm just download it there show extracted files on completion yes okay so that's click we'll leave that then we just click on extract and we have another page open up here and you can see um, nexus coin dash duty.exe okay so um, there's the file the date and time okay and the size all right so what you want to do is again click on that okay and then what <clears throat> this because this is the executable file Okay, I believe if I down, if I double click it here, it should uh, open it up and start to download. Okay, Windows protected your PC, Windows um, smart screen, uh, prevent an unrecognized app, uh, blah, 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 from starting. Okay, so, you know, don't run, but you want to run it. So, if you do get this message, just click on more info, and, you know, there's the app. Uh, the site nexus coin again dot dot exe uh, publishes as unknown publisher but we know it's from nexus okay um, I've already downloaded it a couple of times and it's safe okay so here we go again I'm gonna say run anyway and it should pop up 
and there it comes okay so right here in the center it says uh, loading and you can see now mine popped up um, it, because I had all it, it I already downloaded it you'll get a screen very similar to this a pop-up very similar to this um, but over here by wall since in red you probably saw it when it first came on it said not synced um, because you 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 have to sync it so but when you click and it comes to this screen being you haven't downloaded it yet it'll automatically right down around in here somewhere you'll see a green bar okay and it will show the, pro the progress of um, the synchronization okay so it'll say that it's synchronizing and it'll show the progress of it so you just let that run until it's done and it's cool then it's automatically automatically stops and your wallet will open up like this okay and then you won't see that that it has to sync right here first you will but it takes a second for it to load uh, but then you won't see it right here um, saying that it's not synced okay so then what you want to do after that and and you can tell uh, you know when when you're when your wallet is live by this this check mark here let me uh, open this up you can tell by this check mark here you scroll over that see it says the date and it says uh, processed and the numbers of blocks of the transaction history okay and naturally there's none there yet because um, you know we don't have we're not getting the coins yet but we just have to send in the form and all to get um, the coins if um, you have any coming to you and then you know if not once once you start getting your coins and you download this wallet and you send them to the in in here and you set it all up then right there um, you know th that'll show the history there and this here is we're going to show you that it's actively connection to nexus uh coin network okay so that's how you know that that you're online there with uh with the wallet and then over here um we we have the the, the wallet is locked okay so it's it's not staking because the wallet is locked and um you know, you'll see how to go in and unlock your wallet okay um so once you download the wallet then you're going to want to go up to settings i believe okay settings believe and it says encrypt wallet okay um so you're going to click on that to encrypt your wallet i already I already encrypted mine and that's why it won't open up for me because it's already uh encrypted i could it gets encrypted a page will open up when you click click on encrypt wallet a page will will, uh, will open up and you'll see where it says to enter the, the passphrase okay you're going to create a passphrase and, and then you're going to you know put it in twice you know to make sure that it matches and um once you do that um then um your your, your wallet will be uh encrypted make sure that the passphrase that you use when you see the form pop up that it uh it's something you know good think about it for a while so don't put anything you know that's easy for somebody to to guess and, and you know get into your uh, into your wallet so uh, think about it make a you know a nice good one write it down a uh, piece of paper separate so it's cold storage write it down on a piece of paper and put it someplace safe because once you encrypt your wallet if you lose your passphrase then you you can't get your coins okay um see now i don't know if i want to maybe i can show you if let me see if it says change change password okay well see this says change passphrase so something similar to this is going to pop up when you put the original passphrase in i don't want to change my passphrase but this is generally what you see you'll just see you'll see two lines though you see these not three lines you'll see two it says enter enter passphrase and then uh, the next one will say to uh confirm or enter the passphrase again okay so it's a little different than this okay but uh, you get the idea so let's get out of that uh, so again in settings um you're also going to have um to unlock the unlock your wallet okay so that once you get everything set up and everything down you know your wallet's in there then you're going to uh, want to unlock it uh, so that it uh, so that it mints because if you don't unlock it then you're not you're not minting okay um, that's maybe for another um, tutorial but uh, I don't want to get into too much so 
basically what you do is you're going to download your wallet okay then you're going to uh, click on settings and encrypt your wallet by entering a passphrase okay and then once you do that your wallet will be encrypted and then you're going to go to file okay and oops file and back up wallet you want to back up your wallet uh, the page will open up and ask you where you want to back it up i back it up mine to a usb off the computer uh, so that i always um, have it so yeah, it's up to you where you want to to back back up your wallet to but um, that's what I did I backed it up to a, um, a USB drive okay you back up to a USB drive or to a, a, a hard drive an independent hard drive you know a portable hard drive uh, if you have that uh, if you have one of those but uh, there you go so I hope that helps everybody in um, downloading their wallet Nexus wallet and so thank you very much for watching the tutorial uh, again I hope it helped and we're in the right place at the right time uh, get uh, decentralized I mean you know that if you're here so I don't have to explain it to you it's like preaching to the choir but uh, we're in the right place at the right time get unbanked get decentralized uh, get uh, your money away from people that think that your money is their money with that said, God bless you. See you next time.